For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. Alright, replace the loading system by an equivalent resultant force and find the resultant line of action where it intersects the horizontal segment of the member measured from point A. So, for this problem, you know that the sum of the forces in dx are equal to 15k times 4 over 5, which comes out to be 12k. The sum of the forces in the y are equal to 15k times 3 over 5 minus 20k, which comes out to be negative 11k. So the resultant force comes out to be the sum of these two, which is 12 in the i minus 11 in the j. The magnitude of this force is given by the x component square plus the y component square all square rooted so once you plug in those two numbers in here you get that it has a magnitude of 16.3 kilonewtons the angle now notice that it goes 12 to the right and 11 down this is 12 this is 11 so this angle is given by the tangent inverse of 11 over 12 and it's equal to 42.5 degrees and it's negative because it's going down so assuming that clockwise is positive the sum of the moments at A is given by 20 times 2 minus 15 times 3 over 5 times 6 that would be this component right here and it turns the lever arm all the way to here and that has a length of 6 plus 15 times 4 over 5 times 2 because that would be this force right here and it turns the lever arm right here which has a length of 2 meters so that is the sum of the moments at A. Once you calculate it, you get that it's equal to exactly 10 kilonewtons per meter, 10 kilonewton meters. Sum of the moments at A, going clockwise. So you know that the moment is equal to the force in the Y because we're talking about a resultant force acting in this line of action in which a next component of this resultant force wouldn't be creating any moment so you have to use the sum of the forces in the y which will be this 11 times x so when you solve you get that the moment over f of y the moment we found is 10 f of y we found is 11 so this comes out to be 0 0.909 meters so it will be acting somewhere around here. Final answer, final answer for the magnitude of the resultant force. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.